Hello crafty friends, I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to take a little detour from my normal paper crafting and do a little piece of home decor. Now this is not a home decor or Dollar Tree channel, but I hope you'll take this quick detour with me. I bought all of these things at the same trip at the Dollar Tree and uh, put them together in about an hour. I start out with this Hello Fall Scarecrow sign. He has some tissue paper hair, so that's definitely not going to work outside. He's got a painted on uh, handkerchief and um, his little overalls say Hello Fall. In addition to that, I picked up some of these witches uh, brooms, some cotton pods. Now they have two packs and three packs, so I dug through to find the three packs. And then I have a couple different types of leaves. I've got the burlap um, in natural and red in the maple leaf. And then I picked up a few packs of the oak leaves. I got a couple orange and then one in red as well. And because all the cute fall fabrics were gone, I picked up this gingham. It matches the handkerchief that the sign is wearing already, so that's good. I removed the hat and the hair. It was pretty easy to pull these pieces apart. Uh, if you have trouble pulling the hat off, you can always use your heat gun and that would soften up the hot glue that's underneath there holding it together. Peeled them apart and threw out the hair and I put the hat aside because I'm gonna do something fun with that later. There's definitely a glare from the ring light that I didn't realize when I was recording. The next thing I do is ponder my choices. This is going to go on to my front door, and my front door, um, it is not covered. So uh, if snow or rain come down at the slightest angle, it uh, hits anything that's on the front door. So because this is paper, I wanted to do something to it to kind of seal it a little bit. I considered the Mod Podge, but the Mod Podge that I have is a gloss, and I figured that if it's on the front door with direct sunlight, the gloss may be a little too glossy and you might not be able to see the scarecrow's face from the road. So I decided to use Another thing that I had on hand, which is Ranger's um, Matte Multimedia Matte Medium. <laughs> okay, so the real name is Multimedia Matte. This comes in a jar, but also in a little kind of squeeze bottle. The jar is great for uh, projects like this. And of course the bottle for when you need just a tiny drop to glue things together. I will link both of those down below. This is a product that I use uh, fairly often. Um, I don't seal a lot of my projects, but I do use it for uh, my experiments uh, in collage. So it comes, uh, comes in handy for paper crafting. Uh, and since this is paper, I went ahead, like I said, and sealed it. I just used this foam brush. I sealed the front of it completely. I think for this little hat, I even sealed the back of it and then um, tried to get some of those sides as well. Later on, I go in there with my finger. And then I do um, the entire uh, body of the scarecrow itself just uh, to kind of give it a little extra chance to to last through the season this definitely isn't something i think i'm going to have around for years but um, in case there is snow or rain i just wanted it to be a little bit protected um, so that maybe it will last until it's time to change it to a winter wreath once it was dry i took one of these witch's brooms and my heavy duty Fisker shears and chopped some hair. Now this has some purple in it, but I don't think that you can really see it. You'll definitely not be able to see it from the road, but um, 
I just cut them to the right length that uh, covered all that section and hot glued it down. And then I took one bag of these cotton pods and hot glued them onto the hat. So it looks a little like this little guy is nesting in a nest on the hat. Next, I just take a little triangle of this fabric, just eyeballed it, and pretend to be fancy and make a seam with the hot glue, but then I just end up gluing it around the neck. When I opened my burlap leaves, I was very excited to realize that these have a wire on them. Um, they're almost like a pick. This is definitely going to give these leaves more structure for when they're outside in the elements. So um, when I glued these down, I just made sure that the wire was uh, to the back. Gluing these onto the back, I just glued them in whatever order made me happy at the time. Tried to put a little bit of extra glue to have it sink through the burlap onto the paperboard so that they would be sturdy. For above the head, above the top of the hat, I took uh, three or four uh, leaves and arranged them before I glued them to the top. And then I just continued to glue around tucking uh, pieces of the leaves under the one before and went all the way from one side of the handkerchief down around the bottom to the other side. And for the last finishing touch, I just tucked one of the red oak leaves underneath his handkerchief and it kind of sticks out there. If you like the way this project turned out, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you've ever made a project using all Dollar Tree supplies.